Hi. Now, there's a lot of difficult things going on in the world today. Uh, the horrors of terrorism, innocents being killed, war, shootings, unnatural disasters. It's pretty intense and it can be a lot to bear just to hear about this constantly in the news and just have this in our, uh, the world around us. And so self-compassion can help in a few ways. Uh, one, well, of course, self-compassion helps us be with difficult emotions like I, I've talked about before. But another way it helps is through the practice of equanimity. Equanimity is the wisdom of knowing that uh, we can't totally control things. And are we able to stay calm and centered and peaceful without shutting down our hearts? Uh, we're faced with that truth that we aren't um, able to totally control things. And so um, there's a practice we teach for caregivers called uh, compassion with equanimity, where we actually breathe in compassion for ourselves, for the pain of caring for others and who are suffering. And we also say some phrases to remind ourselves of this truth of uh, the wisdom of equanimity. And I'm, I'm including the practice in this month's email because you can also use it when you hear the news, when you feel that rush of just helplessness and, and sorrow, your heart breaks. You can breathe in compassion for yourself or your own immediate feelings of pain. You can breathe out compassion to, to groups of people, to the world. Um, and you can just remember the, the, the wisdom of equanimity. So um, I hope it helps in whatever way it does. And may the world be peaceful. Thank you.